What does this, all this talk of autonomy have to do with ethics? Um, that's a really good question. Um, so the short answer is that, um, at the very least, um, we think generally that autonomy is something that's valuable, right? Something that has a moral value to it. And so it, at the very least, means that there's probably going to be some sort of ethical constraint on doing things that prevent people from being able to be autonomous because, you know, it's a good thing. If it's a good thing, then people should be able to be in that way. But there's a different way that you might um, be worried about why autonomy is uh, morally valuable. Um, and that's because, you know, I think when you're first starting to think seriously about sort of ethical issues, um, that the right thing to do, well, you know, we have this uh, from when you're, you're young, right? That being selfish is bad. And to put my cards on the table, that doesn't mean that, you know, uh, being ethical is being totally concerned with other people's good and not regarding your own. Um, even people who are utilitarians, if you've heard that term before, you know, who think that the right thing to do is the thing that creates the greatest amount of good overall, um, they're still going to tell you that you have to treat yourself. You know, you are a person just like everybody else, making sure that you're not undermining your own autonomy and your own things that are good for you. That's, uh, that's an ethical claim, right? So we have two sides to this. One is that as an ethical matter, um, we should be respecting other people's ability to be autonomous and um, where possible, we probably want to, it's probably good for us to, to help others. Um, but at the very least, it's, we don't want to get in the way of other people being autonomous. That's the first thing. The second is that um, as a moral good, it's something that matters in our own lives. And that means that we have to navigate um, conflicts because there's going to be plenty of cases in which me doing what I autonomously want to do um, and you doing what you autonomously want to do are going to come into some sort of conflict, right? Um, and that's the, the sort of more interesting question, right? Is how can we both respect each other's autonomy um, and respect each other generally uh, while still pursuing goals that might be in conflict? And 